fifth flight and one of the Legion's finest commanders. <laughs> Someone paid her to say that. I appreciate the help, Inquisitor. Collapsing that seal bought us time. Blighters had the run of these tunnels for days. Now they have a roadblock. How many deep roads are there? How deep do they go? They'll take you from one side of Thetis to the other, if you have a death wish. The roads once connected dwarven cities that were hundreds of miles apart. Then came the Darkspawn. Ren and I have been exploring this region, reclaiming it, but the work is slow. Mark the map, fight an army, mark the map, fall in a hole, and so on. I get the impression you two have known each other a while. Yeah. The Shaper had sent her to dig up some relics. Asked me to keep her out of trouble. That was three years ago. You can quit any time. Not when we still have things to fight about. The Legion of the Dead has the Inquisition's full support. That's the best news I've heard since the quakes began. Actually, the only good news. Clearer, stronger, more insistent. I hear it. Doesn't prove a thing. These quakes are not a natural disaster. They're deliberate. There's an intelligence behind them. How could an earthquake be caused deliberately? We get plenty of natural tremors down here. These are different. She thinks she knows why. I found an ancient text during an expedition with Ren last year. At the time, it was just a curiosity, but now? The text describes giant creatures, called Titans, living deep underground. They sing in the stone, shaping it. When these quakes began, I believe we heard that rhythm. I believe a Titan is causing all this destruction. All I heard was an earthquake. How is it you and Ren hear a rhythm? Our people have a strong connection to the stone. We feel it in a way topsiders cannot. Shapers have great stone sense. And Vault is better than most. She never gets lost. I've never heard of Titans before. What else can you tell me about them? The text I found predated the first blight. Its pages had mostly rotted away. And there's no mention of the Titans in Orzammar's memories. Which tells you something. You speak of the stone like it's more than walls. The stone is eternal. She was here before us, and remains after we die. But the stone isn't your god? We don't worship her, but we do respect and honor her. The stone makes us strong, and we return that strength to her when we die. It's difficult to express in words. Mysterious songs often lure people to their deaths, or to an archdemon. This rhythm isn't a song, exactly. It sounds like air flowing through lungs. Hmm. Air that can collapse a whole mine. Dangerous, then. But a magic unique to the deep roads might be worth investigating. In my experience, no explanation is too strange to consider. For all we know, that text you found was a bedtime story. We can't be sure until we find the source. The rhythm I sense in the quakes is emanating from somewhere far below. The stone will lead us there. And if it comes to a fight, that'll be our job. There's a lift at the side passage nearby. Ready when you are. I thought you'd be used to all kinds of dark spawn. But everyone's got their favorites. I'm partial to ogres. Great racks.
shit. Are... are you putting me on trial? I'm feeling very... judged. Oh. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I... wanted to speak with you. And now you're here. I am. What's on your mind? Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. That's... a lovely sentiment, Cassandra. Marriage is much more than a lovely sentiment, Inquisitor. Marriage? Blackwall is quite a man. Or Rainier, or... What name will he go by now when you... You're not proposing... to anyone. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose? He... mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. I might get married. I've thought about it. I suspected as much. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happiness you can from those and do not let them go. That is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm. I must see this for myself. Did you want the table? I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you, as lovely as your songs. So, you... Huh. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on. Here's you, and everyone. Glad to be back, all stuffed together. 
With the pressure full on. Again. Don't worry, Herald of Everywhere. I came prepared. I know what everyone needs. Have a good view then. You're not stopping me. I expected a roof. It's early. Anyway, that was a good run. It's all been a good run. I needed that. And I need... You know it's ending, right? We can say it won't, but knobs in places like this. All they do is end things. They'll try a leash. Or worse. But maybe you aren't ready to quit just because some Lord Piddlebits is scared of us. The Inquisition still needed. No one can question that. That's the problem. When people need us, they don't need them. Point is, sooner or sooner, all this changes. And you've helped me understand. Too much. So it's my turn to help you. See, I have these friends. And all of them were the wrong sort of whatever. Their place changed, or it never was. So together, we made an us. Everyone needs an us. And when the world is done saying no and calls you the wrong sort of whatever, maybe we can be that us for you. What do you think, Inquisitor? Want to run some rooftops as a Jenny? You want the Inquisitor? Don't I have a few more titles than your usual Jenny? No offense. Some taken. Pfft, words. Look, we don't want you. We want to be there for you. If you want to keep doing, it won't be nobles who help. It'll be friends. I don't think I can do what you do, but I'm glad to call you friend. Then we're still at your back. You'd have a hard time stopping us. Did we make this trip for nothing? Balls, no. We're gonna drink to tomorrow until it's yesterday. <laughs> to all my friends. Always and ever, Inquisitor. Always and ever. Sarah was never in the grid. Creepy song is creepy. Ugh. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Well, of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the captain of the city guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor, Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you. And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount... Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall? Are you here to represent Kirkwall in the Exalted Council, Viscount Bran? Provisional Viscount, which, sadly, is no longer my office. I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Comtesse now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. 
You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice, for Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> this is possibly too much, Varric. I don't know what to say. That's nothing. Practically nothing. Don't mention it. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the Council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. Thank you. I'm touched. A little bit horrified by this key now, but still touched. Please don't give anything else away. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. And there she is. I missed you. Shut up and get over here. I have to say, while I appreciated the letters, this is much better. And after the betrayal, and what I put those men through, my sorries were worth about as much as shit. How many people hit you? I lost count at twelve, but I could take a punch. They needed to know that there's a way to come back from anything. And I wanted to help them if I could. I thought going up there on the gallows was difficult. This was worse. A hundred times worse. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. Is it selfish of me to hope that you'll no longer need to be Inquisitor? No. I want the same. I'll wait. For as long as it takes. Tom? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Is this in your daily notes? Three to four o'clock. Idle chat with the Inquisitor. Of course not. <clears throat> not precisely. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. Perhaps you're right. These meetings and talks don't allow for much leisure time. And then back to Skyhold without a moment's pause to take in where we are. 
With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Thank you for thinking of me. I'd be delighted to attend. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Oh, bravo! Bravo! This was your idea of a restful evening? Oh, wasn't it lovely? It's been so long since I've gone to the opera. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? What I really enjoyed was seeing you put your duties aside for a change. I truly did. Thank you for coming. It's been too long since I just spent an evening doing... nothing. Here's to nothing. May it happen to us more often in the future. Oh, look! The encore signal! You there! You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You... found a dog? They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. <laughs> Poor boy. Well, he seems happy now. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. Oh, I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, <laughs> I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. He should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. <coughs> the Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. If your support comes with that of your new friend, I'm sold. I know a useful ally when I see one. You can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. I should look around. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. Does everything go well between you and Sir Rainier? Things are excellent. Thank you for asking. It's such a comfort to hear that at least one facet of your life hasn't fallen apart due to incompetence. You must be keeping very busy. Someone has to keep the mess that's been made of Thedas's institutions of magic from flying apart. 
Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know.